Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. We'll be looking at the games releasing from the 14th of May up until the 20th and I will just say now that I am recording this video on Wednesday, last Wednesday as you watch it, during the daytime UK time which was before the Indie Direct so if there are any obvious shadow drops that aren't in the video that's of course why and they'll be in next week's instead. Okay, so which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. Let's first look at a couple of games that are already out, and the first of these crept out just after I'd made last week's video, and it's called Wolfstride. The blurb describes it as an immature grown-up RPG about a trio of troublemakers stumbling their way through a giant mech tournament. Each member of the team has their own unique side to the story. You have Duke the Mechanic, Dominic, a jack of all trades and former Yakuza member, and Knife, who is the pilot, who will be covering the turn-based battles. Sounds very interesting and has a quite catching art style, I must say. We'll hopefully have a review of this one out for you at some point next week. A big thank you to the sponsor of today's video and their game, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a third-person, free-to-play mobile mech shooter where you'll be partaking in 5 on 5 real-time PvP matches and skill is very much the order of the day if you want to come out on top. The mechs themselves are where the game really shines and the recently released Amazing Pilots feature gives you 12 unique pilots to choose from, adding a new depth to the gameplay owing to the individual pilot's skills. This means you can customise your loadout to fit your playstyle. You can collect rare, epic and legendary pilots and then pair them up to create and discover new combination skills in order to outplay your opponents. This month sees the release of a new pilot, Asami, plus there are special events taking place where you can grab yourself new skins and weapons. As I said earlier, it's free to play on Android and iOS right now and you can use my link in the description of this video or scan the QR code on screen to get bonuses worth $45 which include one Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins and 70,000 credits to help you get off the ground with your journey. There really is no better time to start playing. Another game that's already out is Whisper Trip. This is a side-scrolling shooter which seemingly has a heavy emphasis or at least encourages multiplayer. It's set in a cyberpunk world and you'll use your katanas to take down terrorists. As you've no doubt seen on screen, it's one of those games that takes pleasure in telling you how many times you'll die. Usually my cue to go and look elsewhere for something to play I must say, but it does look pretty stylish and could be fun with a partner. Plus it's also pretty cheap at just £4.49. You have Watcher Chronicles, which calls itself a 2D Souls-like. It says here, Purgatory has been invaded by an unholy threat and lost souls must unite or face utter annihilation. It promises skill-based combat, large interconnected worlds and local co-op. There are a number of weapons to use as well as powerful magic and an RPG system where you can upgrade your hero in a number of ways. It's selling for £19.99 or your regional equivalent. And finally, for those already out, is Ravenous Devils. This describes itself as a horror cooking simulator, as you must entice customers into your tailor business, sell them clothes before brutally killing them, and sending their bodies down the chute to the basement, where you and your wife will then turn them into meat pies. It's a wickedly macabre and decadent idea, with a strong Sweeney Todd vibe, and I have to say, for just £4.49, it really does intrigue me. Jeffrey over at the Indie Gaming Guild has reviewed this game actually, I'll link to his review in the top pinned comment, so please do go and give that a watch. He does mention some repetition, but I must say I might still try it. Let's move on to the games coming out this week, and first we have Divination. Another game priced quite cheaply, again at just £4.49 or your regional equivalent, this tells a story of the Diviner, a fortune teller using ancient runes to discern the future in a cyberpunk metropolis on the brink of collapse. It's presented in a graphic novel style in terms of the artwork and you'll meet a variety of clients looking for answers about what's to come. The runes and the order in which you place them will decide the fate of each character and this will then impact the world through cause and effect, the impact of which you will see on TV screens and news reports. Again, this actually sounds quite interesting for a cheap price. That's the second game already, along with Ravenous Devils that I'll probably pick up, plainly down to them having an interesting premise and a good price tag. This one comes out on the 18th.
Next we have Deadcraft from Marvelous Europe. This describes itself as a new take on the zombie survival action game where half zombie Reed must survive not only by way of the weapons he has but also by growing some zombie followers of his own. Reed's zombie side means he can unleash devastating powers in battle and you'll be collecting and planting the corpses of your enemies to grow your own zombie workers. That's the second game in this video already that has you doing bizarre things with corpses. It also includes scavenging for resources and the choice to help others or take what you want by force. It's going to cost £19.99 or your regional equivalent and there is a demo available for you to try. As well as this, there is a bundle option for about £10 more, which will gain you access to a couple of DLC packs when they release, saving you a bit of money ultimately on what it would otherwise have cost you. This one is out on the 19th. Then we have Cotton Fantasy, which is a brand new entry in the long running Cotton Shoot 'em Up series. Cotton's first entry, called Fantastic Night Dreams, released in Japanese arcades in 1991, and the series is known for helping to strengthen the popularity of the Cut 'em Up subgenre, where instead of taking on a number of ominous war tanks and flying death machines, you are instead blasting cute and colourful creatures. You play as the young witch Cotton on a quest for Willow Candy. It's not a series I've had a huge amount of experience with over the years, mainly down to the fact a lot of the early games didn't make it to my region, but there has been a bit of a resurgence ever since Cotton Reboot released last year. I've been playing this one for review, I'm hoping to get that out for you next week, but I can tell you that I've really enjoyed my time with it so far. It includes some new mechanics for the series such as something similar to the buzz system found in the Zyvaria games and has a host of characters including Kawase from the Umehara Kawase series. It's out on the 20th and it will cost you £34.99 or your regional equivalent. And finally for this week we have Pig Ship and the Giant Wolf. Now it's so hard to say Pig Ship without almost inadvertently saying something quite vulgar. Anyway, this is a shoot 'em up with a Game Boy or perhaps more Super Game Boy for those of you that remember that peripheral for the Super Nintendo aesthetic and a story revolving around a piglet attempting to save his brothers from the wolf army. The blurb mentions an online ranking system and a leveling up mechanic and I do really like the look of it actually, it reminds me a bit of the last level in the Game Boy game Super Mario Land, what a great game that was by the way. It will cost you £7.19 and it releases on the 20th of May. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases, not a huge amount this week it must be said, although Deadcraft is a game I know many people are looking forward to, Cotton Fantasy I can tell you already is a very good game, and there were a few, probably more than in quite a while, small and cheap indie games that did catch my attention. Please do let me know though what you think, will you be picking any of these games up? A big thank you to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video, don't forget to check out their product by using the link in the top pinned comment. Don't forget if you're looking for eShop credit, you can get it from our website, switchup.gg. There is currently 10% off the price up until the end of May if you use code SWITCHUP. Details again are in that top pin comment. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.